Hello my dear students. Now in this video what you are about to learn is how to find out the missing site using the information that's given to you. Parameter. So look at the questions here. You will see the parameter is given and very quick reminder what is the parameter? The distance around the shape. What is the distance around the shape? This shape could be a triangle square, a rectangle, and any other uh, others figures as well, like uh, circles. But perimeter or circumference, it means the distance around the shape. So let's clear this. The perimeter in this case, we usually did find the perimeter, but this time it is given to us. So this is one of the, your homework. So let me do an example that's not your homework. Over here, I'm looking at a triangle, and perimeter is given. First, very first thing, as usual, you write down the formula, and formula handout is here, triangle is right here, so perimeter we are talking about, so I'm going to need this formula here, which is P equals A plus B plus C. Let's go ahead and write that down. Perimeter equals a plus B plus C. So perimeter, in this case, we know what the perimeter is. So I'm going to substitute the information that's given to me. 28 equals A. I have no idea what the A is. I'll go back to formula handout. And looking at this, I will see that this is A, this is B. This is C. So let's go back to question. This is supposed to be A. That's the question. And I'm going to name it X. X is the question mark I want to find out. Plus B is this, which is 7. And C is that, which is 11. Let's keep going. 28 is here. Let's organize the right side. X, keep it the way it is. 7 plus 11. I can put these two same likely terms together, which is 18. Plus 18. Now, I want to leave X alone, so I find out what the X is. In order to do that, I'm going to send the plus 18 to the other side of the equation. How do I do that? I write down 28, a little bit to the left because I want to keep the equation sign just underneath the equation sign. And plus 18 will go to the other side as minus 18. X is now alone. And remember, X is on the right or left. It doesn't matter with me. Let's keep the equation sign here. X is there. What is 18? I'm sorry, 28 minus 18, which is 10. Now it's time to write down the unit. And the unit is centimeter centimeter then let's just do quickly one more example now we are looking at a square we just have to know one side of the square so first things first the formula square formula let's make this a little bit bigger And square, yes, here. That's the parameter formula for L. Let's go ahead and copy that first. Parameter equals 4L. As usual, I have no idea what the L is. I'll go back to formula handout and Looking at the picture, I will say L is one of the sides. Let's go back to the question. And L is one of the sides. So there is no number. It's a question mark, which is X to me. So I'm going to write down, for the L part, I'm going to write down X. 4 is 4. I'm going to keep it the way it is. Equation is equation. P is given to me. 12. So let's write that down. Equals. Now, I want to leave x alone. Between 4 and x, there is no addition. 
there is no subtraction, there is no multiplication, and there is no division. So between 4 and x, if I don't see anything, it means the multiplication. If 4 is if 4 multiplies here, it has to divide on the other side. So 4 will divide here. What we have on the other side, also 12. Now, 4 is gone. x is alone on the right side. And I just have to do the math here. x equals 12 divided by 3. I'm sorry, that's the answer. 12 divided by 4 is 3. And I need the unit. What is the perimeter? It's meter. So let's go and write down the unit. Then, I guess I have one more example. Circumference. This time, circumference is given to you. So we need to circle circumference formula. Formula handout is here. All right. Let's. All right. So that's the circle. Let's go. That's the circumference formula. C equals 2 pi r. Let's go ahead. Write that down. C equals 2 pi r. C equals 2 pi r. So what's C? C is given to me, which is 34.54. Weird number, but I don't care. 34.54 equals 2 is 2 times pi 3.14 times r. R is the radius. Look at the question. Radius is the question mark. That's the x. So I'm going to keep it the same here. I can change it to x, but that's the radius. So let's just organize the right side right now. 34.54. What is 2 times 3.14? That will be 6.28. R or X, in this case still R. And I want to leave R alone. And there is nothing, no addition, no subtraction, no multiplication, no division between the number 6.28 and R. So that means we are talking about multiplication. So that number next to R will go to the other side as division. I'm going to make my equation sign first and make my division line. And then underneath, I'm going to write down 6.28. On top, I have 34.54. On the right, this is gone to the other side. So I'm not going to write that down. I'm just going to... I'm sorry, let's write this down again. I'm just going to write down R radius here, and I'm going to calculate what that is. Calculator. Come up, come up, come up. 34.54 divided by 6.28, that will give me 5.5. .5. 5.5. .5. Five unit fit. So let's write that down. Then now it's your time to practice. <laughs>